Pell. I am the I'm privileged to be the uh, president and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce. So thanks for your congratulations. It's a it's a very exciting time in my life. Um, I am a, a local girl. I'm a native Edmontonian. I'm a third generation Albertan and even a 16th generation Canadian, if you can believe it. I uh, am a mother of two amazing young adults. They're both married and they have two children each. So I have four grandchildren. And uh, again, it's uh, it's just the blessings uh, of my life. I um, I I grew up in the uh, in the west end of Edmonton. I um, went to both the University of Alberta and to Nate. I went into the land development industry, and that's where I sort of started building my career in land development. I did that for 19 years with various companies. After that, uh, and I continued to take my education as I went. So lifelong learning has been very important to me. After that, I uh, went out on my own, and I formed my own consulting business, and I learned the hard way sometimes to, uh, to build a business and to start identifying clients and, um, and uh, satisfying clients' needs. Um, steep learning curves, um, lots of great adventure, very, very fortunate. I ended up coming back to the land development business after, oh, gee, 16 years, I think. And I uh, did that until I came here. So I was recruited, uh, I'm just starting my sixth month, so I was recruited uh, to come to the Chamber of Commerce. Of course, I have quite a history with the Chamber, and I have quite a, a body of work that I've done volunteer-wise all throughout my career. This, this, uh, this city has been very, very good to me, and so I've had the fortune of being able to give back to it as well. But uh, with the Chamber of Commerce, I was the chair of the board of the Chamber of Commerce in 1996. So that uh, role let me see the chamber from the outside, I guess, as a volunteer, and now I'm seeing it uh, from the inside as the as the CEO. Um, other volunteer work I, uh, I mentioned, I have, uh, boy, I've been the board chair of, uh, of McEwen University. I have uh, been uh, the chair of the United Way Capital Campaign. I've chaired Urban Development Institute and been on a number of different boards. I sit on the Edmonton Oilers Community Foundation, which is just an amazing uh, foundation. And a number of advisories for uh, post-secondary schools, which I'm very passionate about post-secondary. And a number of uh, committees about women and children. Because in this city, we shouldn't have women and children suffering. We should uh, we should be working hard to, uh, to meet their needs. Well, I'll... I'll Tell them uh, the same thing that I had to learn. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is find a way to build your networks. And your networks then become your support group and your advisory group and the place where you can go for help. And those are sometimes, um, one of the networks I had was Rotary Clubs. Another network was the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, so that was very important to me. Then I, I did a lot of research about what I was going to do. I went into the consulting field. Whatever field you're going to look at, Make sure that you do a lot of research to understand what the capacity is in that field, what need there is, uh, where are the niches or the gaps that you can satisfy. And usually, even with you know any kind of skill set that you have, usually you can find a niche or a gap if you do enough research. It's really important to do your homework. And then go and find yourself uh, an accountant and a bank that will talk to you and get some advice from them as well. because. Uh, when you're running your own business, you need some advisors and even some legal advice. Um, you, you need some advisors that are going to give you that, that straight on advice about what you're looking at and not let it be clouded with any kind of emotion or any kind of other uh, drivers that you've got in your own life that are making you seek out your own business. Well, there's so many things. I mean, inclusivity is, is, a, is a big, broad word, but I think that, uh, that we have to have a community that is very tolerant that is um, uh, very um, open-minded and, and very welcoming. And this city is, is, a, is a melting pot of all kinds of different uh, cultures and uh, individuals with different uh, gifts and different uniqueness. So I, uh, I think that we are that. I think that we are an inclusive city. And I think that we just have to continue to build that, that culture and that generational thinking that will make it more and more open and more welcoming and and uh, and and more well inclusive. You know, I I, uh, I think every corporation has to do that within their own entity. I think uh, parents 
have to do that within their own households. And it's not something I think that uh, the city of Edmonton can do, although they could do it as an organization. But um, I think that we have to uh, start in the home. I, I, I always believe you start in the home. But if you can, if that's, uh, if that's possible, you start in the home. Um, at least in the workplace, we can lead by example. So we can develop a set of uh, core values and principles that allow us to uh, reinforce that thinking and that openness um, and that, uh, that positive attitude about the things that make people unique or different. I'll, I'll be repetitive because as I said here, we're just in the process right now of developing, um, of a further um, developing our own um, protocols, if you will, or, or uh, our own uh, guidelines for people, but they really are about honesty, integrity, open-mindedness, tolerance. I mean, and there's there's lots of issues of tolerance that uh, they may be they may be personality tolerances, right? We're all unique, and we all have uh, different things. When you're talking inclusiveness, you might you know sometimes you're also speaking about um, physical disabilities or mental disabilities, and uh, in those cases, I mean understanding what those are and making sure that you can provide a workplace that is that is um, facilitating um, being productive and getting your job done uh, despite whatever uh, whatever uh, challenge that you do have um, that that inclusive environment that that diverse environment is usually very enriching it teaches you things you can you bring your own um, learnings to it and your own uh, and your own knowledge and I think it's a it's a two-way street where you learn from each other and, and you enrich as a whole. We are, we're developing a set of core vision values and, uh, and those, those internal values, that culture that we're trying to build internally, we have a very small team, but that culture we're trying to build internally will include um, different elements of inclusiveness and, and uh, just some of the other values I talked about. We are the success we are today because, because of the diversity of our population. We're the success we are today because we take the time to understand each other and give each other a little slack sometimes, right? Because sometimes these things are not clear-cut as to why someone is acting the way they are or what their cultural needs are or why they can't eat something or they can't do something. And one of the things that makes us really special and increasingly uh, better people is as we continue to understand and get to know other people. And so I, uh, I encourage that. I encourage that in my own children and grandchildren. I encourage that in the people that I work with in the workplace and people that I run into. And, uh, and I like to think that, as we all do that, that we are making the difference little by little by little. And I think that that's what you have to do. I think that's how you do make gradual progression. When I get an opportunity to support something that is a, an initiative maybe that would, t would take things on, I like to take that opportunity every chance I can get. Again, because I learn a lot more. They learn about me, and because that, uh, when, it's a, when it's a collective, sometimes it, it takes a little leap instead of a little step, as you can as an individual. You have to build these, these partnerships and these collaborative efforts together with other organizations, and the Chamber is doing that in a, in a big way, and I, uh, both business and personal, in my volunteer work, try to do that. Thank you.